Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Mods. I hold in my hand the giant Sphinx. And this is the largest Sphinx moth in the United States. Thing is massive. Guys, if you've ever tried to mount a Sphinx moth, you will wind up finding out that it's not very easy because there are, this is a very muscular, muscular moth and the wings on the sphinx moth are attached to this huge thorax which is full of these big muscles and the thorax of a sphinx moth it it's it's just like a powerhouse and if you've ever seen them fly you know exactly what i'm talking about because they move man they, they fly so fast and the sphinx moth has actually been recorded to be able to fly backwards forwards whatever direction change change direction in mid-flight. Um, and, and guys, that's an advantage to them while they're alive. But if you're trying to curate a scientific collection and mount a sphinx moth in a scientific way, you're going to need to learn a trick and you're going to need to do a little surgery with an X-Acto knife. Um, so you're going to need to learn how to do a little bit of surgery to sever these tendons on this moth and the purpose is, so when you when you sever these tendons, these wings, as you can see, they're really stiff right now, but if you want these wings to be loose so you can put them where you want them and mount your specimen the way you want it, you're gonna need to do a little surgery. So all you need is an X-Acto knife and a little bit of patience and a little bit of knowledge, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So what I'm gonna do, Okay guys, I have in my hand here my giant sphinx and what I'm gonna do is I am going to use this X-Acto knife and we're gonna do a little bit of surgery on this moth and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Now, this is gonna take some getting used to so don't think you're gonna understand this on the first go but you have to sever these tendons and there's a tendon that attaches the forewing to the thorax and there's a tendon that attaches the hind wing to the thorax. And if you learn the anatomy of this system here and you sever that tendon on both wings on both sides, it's going to make mounting your sphinx moth much, much easier. And so uh, here's the way I'm going to do it, guys. The four, Let's start with the forewing. So the forewing here, uh, if you look at it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your, your wings, close your wings on your specimen. I'm trying to do this without removing as many, as few scales as possible. Uh, but the forewing has this giant vein right here. You see it? See this big vein? Okay. And if I move it up, I'm, I'm getting a lot of tension right now, right? So we want, when we mount this moth, we want this wing way up here. And that tendon, you can see the thorax moving. So when I move this thing, that thorax is gyrating and moving because that tendon is attached. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to sever that tendon. And when we do that, this thing will be a lot more flexible. Now, you want to make sure you don't cut the joint. The joint is right here. So the, the wing comes, it joins the thorax right there. If you cut the joint, the wing falls off. You don't want that to happen. The, the actual tendon, let me see if I can actually remove a few scales here. I'm gonna try and show it to you. Oh my gosh, this is bad. All right, I'm gonna show it to you, I promise. I promise, I promise. All right, I see it, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now, here's the joint. This is where the moth wing attaches to the thorax. In fact, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, and you definitely don't want to cut the joint, but right, oh my 
gosh. Right here. Right there, guys. Right here. There's a tendon. And this tendon attaches to the forewing. And what you want to do... That's a tough tendon. There. You feel a little bit of a little bit of a crunch. Now, once I once I sever that tendon, this wing, I'm gonna zoom back out. Once I severed that tendon, this wing is way more flexible. It wants to come out, it'll do whatever I want it to do. Okay, that's what you want to do. So now you got the hind wing. Let me show you. I'm sorry, the forewing. Now you've got the, the forewing completed. Now let me show you the hind wing and what I'm going to do, I'm going to, again, I'm going to have to remove some scales here. I just busted a leg off. That sucks. Uh, uh, uh. I hate doing this guys because I'm taking scales off of my specimen, but I'm helping you guys know how to do this. So when you catch a sphinx, you won't destroy it or mess up mounting. All right, now, let me zoom out one more second. All right, so the hind wing of the sphinx moth, same thing, there's a vein right here. And that vein, if you follow that vein all the way down, it attaches. And now the joint, the joint attaches, let me zoom back in, The joint attaches to the thorax right there. And you don't want to cut here because if you cut right there, the thorax, I'm sorry, the, the, the hind wing will actually disattach from the thorax. But you see this big dark thing, right? Hold on, let me get some more scales out of the way. You see this thing right here? This big cartilaginous thing right here? That is a tendon, and you can see I'm moving the entire thorax of this moth by moving that tendon. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to, there, you just poke your X-Acto knife in, you sever the tendon, and you got to be careful. You don't want to destroy your specimen. It's real easy to go all the way through. You don't want to go all the way through. You just want the tip of your X-Acto knife just to sever that tendon. Now, look how fly, look how pliable, in fact, look how pliable that hind wing is. It's It wants to go wherever I put it, okay? Now, this side is done. Look how, look how relaxed this is, guys. Let me see if I can even show this to you. This, this forewing is much more fl pl flexible. When I move this side, the whole body moves. When I move this side, it, thing, the, the wings move without moving all the body. But this side, I still got to do this side here. So now I'm going to do this side way quicker. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when we just go to it without removing all the scales. You don't have to remove the scales if you know where to cut. So... Tendon number one, you follow the wing down. The vein goes right here. I'm not going to remove any scales, but I know the vein is right there. Boom. Same thing with the, the hind wing. The vein comes down. It attaches right here. I'm going to go a little further down, and you can feel it. Oop, that one pushed it. There. Done. All right, my sphinx moth is officially ready to mount and now you can see how it's it's just a lot more flexible like this and i'm going to mount this moth but that's going to be in a different video so guys give me a uh give me a big mothy thumbs up there's scales flying all over the place right now uh thumbs up if you like the video if you learned something i'm going to mount this moth in another episode Hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel already. I'm going to show you how to curate a butterfly moth collection. Uh, guys, take care and we'll see you out in the field.